as Albion look for a quick start. Here is Furlong, throws it short into Gardner Hickman, down the line to Furlong. Furlong takes one touch, delivers to the back oh. post. It's headed away by Pearson and hit on the volley. Oh, it's a good a save strike. by Lee Nichols, away down to his left-hand side to deny Alex Moat an early goal for West Bromwich Albion. Get it out of his feet and get a shot off from the left-hand side of the penalty area <laughs> if he had been picked out, and Well, Sonali, I don't know what he's thinking. He's got to get his head. Oh, oh no. Sam Johnston has kicked it against a Huddersfield town man. And Danny Ward runs off celebrating. Oh. It's a rare error from Sam Johnston. I mean, how many times has he kept us in games? And pulled off great saves. Unfortunately, when a goalkeeper makes a mistake like that, Jez, it's generally a goal. And as gutted as he'll be, he's just got to pick himself up now. It happens. He's got to put it to bed. You know, Carroll there beautifully, and he's just not been hit. Even crosses from deep, under. Yeah, anything. You know, get round him. Put the ball near him and get round him. Carroll Barsh off the ball. Here come Huddersfield with Russell. Plays a oh, nice one too. And here's a great chance in behind for O'Brien. It's a good first touch. O'Brien hits it. Johnston saves. But the rebound is followed up by Danny Ward. It's a second goal for Huddersfield Town. It's a second for Danny Ward. Oh, could he have held it? I don't know. It's a difficult one. Sam Johnston will feel as though he could have held that. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I should. But Danny Ward straight away on it in an instant. In it comes, right-footed towards the back post. Ajayi jumps, might come to Moat, heads it back in there. And Let's Moat goes down, Let's and Albion have a penalty. Wow, wow, wow. His boot was high. It's given against Sorba Thomas. Yeah, Moat, his boot was high, that's for sure. And Kylan Grant, who scored from the spot at Hull City last weekend, will have the chance to place the ball on the penalty spot once again for the second game running Silva Thomas's boot was high it was very brave from Alex Moat it'll be Grant against Nichols in front of the Brummy Road end it's a slow run up from Carl and Grant hits it right footed into the bottom corner Nichols dived the right way but he couldn't make contact with the ball. Come on, then. And Albion have one goal back. Come on, then. Can we pull this game back? It's a very confident penalty yet again from Carl and Grant. Went the opposite side of the goal. There is Clark. Be a great game to win 3-2, it? Oh, wouldn't it just? Wouldn't it just? I'd take a draw off you now, though, Jez, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I'd love, I'd love it to be 3-2. There's Gardner Hickman up towards the edge of the penalty area. Ajay on the overlap. Here is Shemi Ajay. Ajay dinks it in towards Carroll. Oh, yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! And Andy Carroll has his first Albion goal. What a turnaround at the Hawthorns. Two goals in two minutes. And all of a sudden it's 2-2. Two -two. Wow. You couldn't write this, could you? How about that for a substitution? Diagana comes on. <laughs> well, as we've said it, get the ball in the box with this lad. He attacks it so, so well. And I want the win now. You're right, Jess. 3 2, even 4 2. Why not? The crowd are back. They're still in the stadium, I might add. Listen to them singing. It's all they wanted, Jess, was a little bit of. A little bit of effort. Ian Garner, Robinson, tries to chip it go through. On, go on. Grant's onside. Carl oh, he's oh, in the, the crossbar. A lick of paint away. Oh, if that goes in, I'm, I'm on the pitch. From completing an incredible turnaround at the Hawthorns. Well, they're the margins, aren't they? He is onside, Carl and Grant. He's onside, just leaning back. Couple of inches under.